Hello, my name is Laura Weigel and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I am the owner and the creator of the Will to Wow Jewelry and I use genuine, authentic, beautiful crystals and gemstones to make my jewelry. I also have a private Facebook page, Crystal Healing with Laura. So if you're interested in crystals, this is the page for you. If you uh, resonate with my videos, then make sure you hit the little bell to get notifications whenever I make a new video. And feel free to like and share my videos out because I really appreciate that, of course. So, welcome. Hey guys, so I am super excited to talk to you today about the energies coming tomorrow. Tomorrow is 4-22-2020, which is the new moon in Taurus. It is Earth Day, and it's also the portal for 444 because 4-22-2020 equals to being 444, which is a beautiful angel number. So new moons are always um, the beginning of a new cycle. It's like the stop of one and the beginning of a new cycle. So it's a time to reflect, it's a time to go within, and it's a time to set your intentions, plant those seeds for new beginnings. It's in the sign of Taurus, which is ruled by Venus, the um, planet of love, of physical beauty and abundance. And with it also being Earth Day, it's like planting those seeds of intention, but also physically even planting those seeds. I know I'm gonna be planting, I plan on planting <laughs> cucumbers tomorrow because it just seems as though we eat a cucumber a day in my house. I don't know what it is, we just love cucumbers. So anyway, I encourage you, possibly plant something tomorrow um, get outside and earth, meaning, you know, directly come into contact with the earth and just really giving thanks to Mother Gaia for her support um, and her beauty, right? We would be nothing, obviously, without earth. So um, really, you know, every day should be Earth Day, but when we globally all set our intention to send gratitude and love to the earth, it just makes it that much more powerful which is why I like rituals so much. So coming to the new moon in Taurus and Earth Day and our 444 portal, I really encourage you to take some time tomorrow just to carve out some time to meditate, meditate really think about the intentions that you're planting, um, especially around the areas that govern in that sign of Taurus. My moon happens to be in Taurus, so and then my sun is in Virgo, my rising's in Virgo, so I'm very earthy anyway, which is probably why I like the crystals so much. But thinking in those terms for you, what is it that you would like to manifest in the realm of love and in beauty and in material wealth? What's gonna enhance your life, but at a soul level? So, those are some thoughts to think about. I have some crystal recommendations, as always, for this new moon in Taurus, Earth Day, and our 444 portal. The first one is Peach Moonstone, as always. I'm always going to recommend Peach Moonstone for the new moon because it is the stone of new beginnings. And that's exactly what we're doing collectively. And if you're watching this video and if you're drawn to rituals and stones, then that's what we're setting our intention for right now collectively is a new beginning for ourselves and to plant some new seeds. It's connected to our sacral chakra, so it's very creative, it's playful, it is connecting with our emotions. It's also a very calming stone, helping to calm those emotions, and it's also the stone of fertility, so it really helps you to plant those seeds, whether metaphorically or literally. So balancing the hormones and helping with all aspects of pregnancy. Peach Moonstone, which I don't know if you can see, but I wear, I wear Peach Moonstone every single day. I sleep with it, I wear it every day. But today I also happen to be wearing a Peach Moonstone necklace and some Peach Moonstone earrings. Love Peach Moonstone, especially for women and creative types and really wanting to tap in there. Next 
is azurite malachite. So I kind of have a cool, really quick story for this stone. Oops, you can't see the beautiful lotus flower. So I was, I always first meditate before I ever do a video. Um, when I come up with stones for you guys, I always just kind of sit with that, with my intention, right? And the stone that came to me was Azurite Malachite. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful stone, of course. And it looks just like the earth, the water and the earth, right? Um, but I didn't think I had any. And so I kind of let it go. And then I looked for it, actually. I should have done that to begin with. And of course, I had a beautiful strand of this Azurite Malachite, which I've made here. And I happened to just purchase this stone as well from one of my vendors. So totally meant to be. I have Azurite Malachite. And it really is about connecting the heart and the th third eye and really tapping into your visions and into your higher self and so that's what this is about especially if you think about in terms of the earth you know what are our visions for the earth what can we do to help and the stones of course carry the energy but they just serve as a nice reminder as well and then last but not least is emerald which by the way i go way more into the meanings on my blog post so i'll drop a link underneath this video Emerald is the birthstone for May, which is coming up, and um, Taurus is in May as well, some April and Tor May, but Emerald is believed to carry that pure green ray, the purest green ray of energy. Here's Emerald in a tumbled stone. It's a very heart healing. It's a stone of friendship and compassion and healing matters of the heart while also keeping it open so those are my recommendations for this beautiful new moon in taurus uh 444 angel number portal and earth day and the combination of the three are of course very earthy take care and enjoy your day and i really encourage you to do something to set some intentions for some new beginnings.